Hey guys, do you know what today is? Today is Game 7 of the Leafs Hab series. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're going metal detecting. I'm going to hit a park and a few areas from the little town that I grew up in when I was a kid. And there was a great big weeping willow tree that had to be 200 years old when it was there. It was huge. And I don't think anybody's ever metal detected it. Let's go find out. Hmm. Well, this might be harder to detect than I originally planned. Looks like they've done some work here, changed things over a little bit since I was a kid. It's going to be awful hard to get through those cobblestones, but we'll do our best. We're going to try. Up there on that hill, the big old weeping willow stood. It's gone, cut down. There's a little bit of grass to the outsides here. I might be able to swing a little bit, but... Huh, bummer. Well, that was a complete bust, guys. I spent 15 minutes wandering around. I think the whole thing has been bulldozed when they remade this park, so there's no sign of the old tree. They actually dug up all the root systems, so they did extensive work here. We're going to have to move on and find somewhere else. We've got another park here that I've never tried. I know it's been here since I was a kid. There's a tennis courts, a soccer field, and a hockey rink behind us. But often these parks and community centers are built on areas that were here before. So this could go back, you know, a hundred years. Who knows, I won't know until we try. Well, there's the first two holes, an old tab and an 83 penny. Oh, there's a cool find, guys. It's a little flashlight. And it still unscrews, so I might be able to put some batteries in there. They're just the little button type batteries. And might still work. All right, guys, so I'm not sure about this park yet. Um, mostly modern stuff, but look at this. There is a trail system right here that uh, as soon as I saw the sign, I remembered hiking these trails when I was a kid. The school's not too far from here that I went to, grade three to grade six. And I completely forgot about this. This could be a great place to come back and explore. And there's the trail system there. I think there's uh, a few kilometers worth of trails up in there. And this little bit of a creek goes through there as well. I was going to say getting out and exploring found us a new place, but it didn't. It, uh, it actually is a rekindling of an old place. Uh, so many memories are flooding back now that I think about this place. Finding a bird's nest on the train tracks over here when I was a kid. Uh, Things I just completely forgot about, but yeah, it's here and we're going to bring the cameras and go for a hike. That will be one of our day adventures, I think. All right, guys, so nothing in that park other than modern coins, so a handful of pennies, but it is blistering hot. Feels like it's about 28 degrees out here. I'm going to move on and go past the house I used to live 35 years ago. It's a dead end road that ends right at our Colonial Riverway system, and there's some trails in there. I don't think we're going to find any colonial, but you never know. It is along that waterway. It should be shaded. And uh, let's go check it out. I forgot my water, so I'm going to go on a little store here. It's a Lucky 13, but 35 years ago, it was a red and white. And uh, the old guy that owned it, he, the road here is named after him. His family was here for 100 years. I don't know if they still own it or not, but uh, it's still here. Pretty cool. Well, it hasn't changed. I think two Gatorades just uh, cost me my RRSPs. The whole contribution, not just 2021. Kind of crazy out here. The road is paved. You know, for 15 years I rode my bike over every pothole on this road. Now it's paved. These kids have it golden. And the houses, I can't believe every 150 yards there's a house. Wow, it's so different. This old road here goes down to a tiny little campground. And it was probably from the 40s or 50s. And when we were kids, I mean, it was a fantastic place to go down. And uh, we would buy worms and the guy made a deal with us. We were probably only 10 or 12 years old. For three bucks, he'd let us take out a rowboat for the day. No motor, but we could have a boat for the whole day. And uh, it was a fantastic deal. <laughs> Three bucks. We'll see if that campground is still here, if it's still in use. That would be a great place to uh, detect for sure. This road hasn't changed. It's exactly as I remember it.
Wow. Has it ever changed? Um, all the camps are torn down in here now and it's all trailers. And the access to the water where the store used to be, the store is gone. But apparently the guy who owned the store when I was a kid, he still has a trailer in here. So, wow, I can't mind blown how much it has changed. It's still a little hidden. I mean, you would never know this was here unless you grew up here 30 years ago. <laughs> Well, there we are, guys. There's the end of the road. The park is completely different than I remember it. But if we go through the woods right there, we'll come out to a point where all the kids used to hang out and swim and play. And there's some trails in the bush down there, or there were 30 years ago. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Everything's so different. Uh, let's try detecting. That's our Voyager waterway down there as well. So let's try detecting and see if we find anything. Well, old copper wire. Heavy duty stuff. All right, so right here at the corner of the park is the little trail. And it leads out to where we used to go fishing and swimming and camping. All the kids would hang out out here. Just met this young lad over here. He tells me he still catches lots of fish down here. So once a good spot, always a good spot, I guess, guys. But uh, let's just swing this trail out here and around this island. Ah, looks the same as I remember it. <laughs> I'm sure if we used this place as kids, the generations before us used it as well. Beautiful spot. Well, I just found a fish hook, still attached to some fishing line. Well, there's another one. <laughs> we know what's going on in this spot anyway. Lots of fishing. When I was a kid, there was more than fishing going on here. It's a beautiful spot. Uh, modern pennies out here on the trail, but it's pretty clean. Oh, that tricked me. That rang up a solid 34. I would have bet that was a silver coin, guys. An old rivet off of a tent or something. Some kind of butterfly mating ritual going on here. Three of them chasing each other around. Ugh, fooled again. I'm starting to lose patience with this park. Ugh, shiny. Ugh, down there, foot ringing up like a coin. That's why I hate digging parks, guys. Don't like modern trash. Do like cleaning up, though. Cleaning up makes me feel good. All right, we're gonna call this one, guys. It's 28, 30 degrees out here. It's too hot to not be on treasure. We gave it a go, and I had a really cool drive down memory lane, and uh, we found a nice trailhead that we can hike. But I think that's it for today. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll catch you in the next adventure.